Hello, I'm in this amazing music museum with not a synthesizer in sight. One of the many surprising buildings in Chichester, a city where very few buildings are what they appear to be. Naturally, we'll be visiting the magnificent cathedral and exploring its treasures. And we'll also be going to the theatre, the festival theatre. I'm sure you won't want to miss Highway from Chichester on Sunday at 6.40. I'll see you then. Again, we have another film coming up in just a minute. It's regarded as being one of the best British films about naval war action ever. And it stars uh, Kenneth Moore, who's most famous for his role as war casualty Douglas Bader in Reach for the Sky. But before our film, it's time for us to have another late call. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever fully understand why Jesus died, but I'm a wee bit clearer about the charges. He was crucified on a charge of blasphemy, a law which nobody bothers much about now. He was put to death not because he had done anything wrong or threatened to do anything wrong, but simply because he said that he was the Son of God. Now, if today someone were to say that they were the Son of God, a number of things might happen. The police might lock the person up until he had dried out and returned to sobriety. Or if that didn't work and he still claimed he was the son of God, he might be referred to a psychologist or a psychiatrist who would try to investigate his mental health. Or he might even be put in television and barraged by questions on a chat show, treated like a curio or eccentric, good for a night's entertainment. He certainly wouldn't be sentenced to death. It's interesting to note that in the records we have of Jesus' life, no one ever questions his sanity, apart from his family, who got a bit worried that he was becoming controversial. No one ever accuses him of being drunk or being mad. He is regarded as somebody who is completely in his right mind. Nor can anyone accuse him of being a trickster, a gimmick merchant, a self-publicist. He refuses to do wonders on demand, and he plays down such miracles as he does perform. Nor does anyone ever suggest that he's a crank or an eccentric. There are no patronising conversations with the establishment. All his arguments are in dead earnest, and everything he said he claimed he could authenticate. I want to invite you to be interested in Jesus Christ, and I do so knowing that he's no a crank or a con man or an eccentric. The only charge that can be laid against him is that he claims to be God's son. On that charge, I hope you will make a verdict. This afternoon at 2, there's exclusive live coverage of England's first match in the European Football Championship. Bobby Robson's team meet the Republic of Ireland in Stuttgart in what promises to be a game of passion and commitment. Then at 4.30, England's rugby union team will be in action, with highlights of the second test match against Australia played earlier in the day in Sydney. Exclusive sporting action, European football and international rugby union today on ITV. is all about the sinking of Hitler's most prized ship, the Bismarck, and stars Kenneth Moore as a withdrawn officer directing operations and the beautiful Dana Winters as his right-hand woman. It's called Sinking the Bismarck. <laughs> 